Now, footy mad city, the revelation that a rugby league star has been caught misbehaving always triggers an avalanche of attention. And especially when that star is Roosters playmaker Mitchell Pearce, the man who carries the hopes of the Blues on his shoulders. Tonight, Nine News can show you what happened inside the King's Cross nightclub, kicking off the events that led to his arrest. It's 1.30am at the Beach House nightclub in King's Cross. Mitchell Pearce is seated drinking with mates when his attention is caught by a woman in a yellow dress with a split up the right leg. At first, he reaches for her, but sits back down. Then, moments later, he stands again and swings his right hand towards her. Where exactly his hand goes is just out of view, but it's clear the woman is upset enough by what happens to instantly alert police, who just happen to be patrolling inside the club at the time. The woman points out Pierce, and officers head straight over to question him. They speak with the Roosters staff for several minutes, but after he remonstrates, they ask him to leave the premises. Outside, Pierce refuses police orders to move on, so he's handcuffed, arrested and taken to King's Cross Police Station. Now the subject of an ongoing police investigation, the halfback simply offered a thumbs up as he avoided cameras at Roosters training today. Mitchell Pierce right there. The club urgently called operators of the SFS to arrange a practice session away from the glare of the media. But Pierce's teammates couldn't avoid the cameras outside. And what do you think about with Mitchell on the weekend? Sidestep. Would you be worried about whether he plays Origin or not off the back of this? Um, hopefully he does. I don't know anything about it, so... Does it have any effect on the team, these kind of things? That's all I can say, boys. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Pierce was out with Boyd Cordner on Saturday night. The teammate guarded by a media minder this morning. Did you witness the incident with the young lady? But exactly what happened in this vision is now the main focus of all parties concerned. With any further police action, depending on whether the woman in the yellow dress wants to make a formal complaint. Live to Tom Steinford in King's Cross. Tom, have police heard from this woman? Look, Pete, it's my understanding that police have received no official complaint from this woman just yet. And as much as they, at the very least, just like to get her version of events, they haven't actually been able to get in contact with her as they didn't get her details on the night. They were busy dealing with Mitchell Pearce. So they need this woman to come forward. Now, as far as a version of events from Mitchell Pearce goes, well, we've just got our first hint at that in the last few moments. I've received a letter from his lawyers. A brief snippet from it reads, there has been speculation and in innuendo in the media which creates the impression that our client had an inappropriate interaction with a female patron at a nightclub over the weekend. That speculation is false. So there you have it, a pretty clear denial from the Roosters star. The pictures are now out there giving people a better idea of what happened on the night. Some will come to their own conclusions but as far as a police decision goes their only official line for now is that the investigation is ongoing. Pete. Thank you Tom.